Okay, so I don't remember the last time I did a video that you would have seen, so forgive me if I'm covering stuff over. Stairs down to the basement. You can see the framing that got put in. This is the contractor. And you know, the electrical down here was done uh, by me. So lots of um, outlets. I, I intend to have, obviously, lots of tools down here with high power. That's a welder. Um, so I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, six circuits down here. I guess seven now. Um, I just did the hot water heater tonight. So uh, the consequence of that was that I ran out of um, spots in the panel. Here will be the um, smoke detector, smoke and fire and all that business. So I had to put in a sub panel or a pony panel, whatever you want to call it. Um, so 125 amp breaker here with two gauge wire. I, I just, this stuff was just unbelievably thick. It's like trying to bend copper pipe basically. So that's that massive thing uh, coming in. And then a 60 amp fuse here for the welder that I just pointed out. Um, I, I was only gonna put in 50, but they didn't have 50 at the Home Depot that day. So I got 60 and then um, because I got 60, uh, I had to get wire that would handle 60. So this is whatever that is, six gauge. This is okay to work with, but this, oh my Lord, this stuff is a nightmare. But anyway, whatever, it's, it's almost done. And then I found out that the welder can only handle 30 amps anyway. So total waste of time and money. Anyway, um, I guess that'll be somewhere else. The rest of this, it's just plugged in so that the bus is, it's far more difficult to touch the bus and electrocute myself, uh, by accident so okay that's too hard to pull off with just one hand maybe not yeah it doesn't want to come off I don't know if you can see it in there but it's there no that doesn't make any sense at all anyway it's a great big copper plate back there so while I'm doing any work in here it's very easy to touch it so it's just safer to cover the whole thing up um, that's wiring kind of a rat's nest there but I suspect it will pass. Some of the some of the runs are a little bit neater. Uh, and yeah, the black stuff is data. Um, I've decided to hardwire the network. It will probably only have value for, I don't know, five years, maybe 10 at the most. Um, the stuff, the wire that I was running 10 years ago is already obsolete. It just can't handle the, um, volume of data that we're sending out. Although I guess when you think about it, um, perhaps I don't need to send that much data inside my own home. So maybe it'll last forever. I don't know. Anyway, water heater for now, it's electric. I'm, I'm going to replace that with a gas as soon as I can. And, and I'll use the gas water heater to, to provide radiant heating underneath the floors. Um, some of these wires obviously will have to be moved. They have to run lower if I'm going to be, you know, putting heat up there, but Anyway, that's the basement. Take you up now to the... And does it work? Okay, good. The plug there is lit or lighted, I guess is the correct way to say it. Um, so as long as it's not lit, I know that the... Um, circuit breaker, the panel, the, the, yeah, the breaker's turned off. And so this will eventually become the kitchen. It was the kitchen before and will become the kitchen again. Um, here we have the dining area, I guess, and eventually the living room when the tires leave. I guess I can turn them off too. You're looking at what will eventually become the bathroom. Uh, I'm in love with these old Edison style bulbs. I don't know if that'll show up at all in the video, but anyways. 
this was going to be the office space because it's the smallest of the three bedrooms. Zach one points out that with two windows, the glare might be tough to work with. Second largest bedroom. And the master. Oh, and new windows. So that's what was there as well. I, I don't actually know how to install them. And that's one thing I'm kind of intimidated to try and install myself. So I'm not sure when those will get installed. Oh, toilet. Yeah. Okay. That's it.